Now Brooks from 191. Playing quickly as he always does from the left center of the fairway here. Good angle to this front right hole location. And that is a false back. That ball's going to hang in there. So Kepka can't hit the green either. Now Brooks by far the best position of anyone in the group. A fourth place finish a week ago. From off the green, long range, the defending champion says, remember me? Steadily risen through the world golf rankings. We mentioned up to number one in the world, he and Justin Rose were trading that spot at the end of the calendar year. And he looks the part right now. And that bunker carry he's looking to make is no issue for him at all. That ball's carrying some 310 yards. Now here's Brooks, the leader, 138. Oh my goodness. The runner up at the Masters and a chance to take the lead alone. Hawkeye Technology showing us right edge will work here. He pulled it. He pulled it. Ouch. Sometimes when you decel the, the putter blade just outraces the hands that much and for sure he can he can make mincemeat of this tee shot here and have a maybe a seven or eight iron into the green and right about there will work not show up yesterday for practice here. Brooks from 191. Now you see excellent distance control once again. Winning scores have been dramatically different under those two setups. We, don't, we weren't sure what we'd get here this week. Now Kepka. Three majors. And it's one off the lead here. Three twenty to get over both of those bunkers over there. Almost. That will make his decision very easy on the second shot. Trying to dig out. Kepka's down in there. There he is. That's how deep these fairway bunkers are. Kepka about 6'3. You know, barely see his hat. But he's laid well back. Ricky Elliott giving his man the number, 133. Nice aggressive line there for Brooks Kepka. So swing off of his right to left. A cup or two out on the right. And another near miss. One of the caddies driving me around earlier this week told me it gave me the thought of there's no, the no break here at Beth Page. You call it no break Beth Page. This hole playing about as long as it can play at 167 yards today. We're going to see a lot of that. About five yards past the hole location. A lot of judgment and a little bit of luck involved in there too. Now Kepka, another chance to join the lead. Oh, and he knew it. 
Had a couple of shorter looks. Could easily be three or four under right now. He'll take two. This man tied for the lead. Defending champion Brooks Kepka on the tee at 15. This fairway doesn't exactly fit his traditional fade. And Kepka, that sounded juicy. This is his second from 205, and able to get it up there. Like I said, miss it big. Get in a spot where the gallery has trampled. If that was in that that thicker, untouched rough, no chance he would have been able to hit that shot. I don't care, even if it's Brooks Kepka in his strength, wouldn't have been able to do it. Yeah, there Turns into a good stock four there. Disheartening to follow up a, a birdie with a bogey, especially like that. As Brooks solidifies his par here on 15. Just overcut the last tee shot. Corrections made. Now Kepka. There's some eight yards closer at 160. And a good shot there. Brooks one shot off the lead right now. Should have got a nice read from that pitch shot, incidentally, that Tiger just played. Sliding from his left to right ever so slightly. Sense that he's due here, Steve. And the one that moved a little bit more. He's overread some of the breaks so far today, and that one moved more than he expected. And Kepka now to stay two under. So that was leading just a couple of holes ago. He indeed did learn a little something, wasn't messing around with that front right bunker. Well, better Thursday than any other day, I suppose, and a tough hole. There's going to be a lot of fours here. Kepka's second. Very careful with that and very nicely done. Kepka saves the par. And then Brooks in between with the driver. Trying to carry everything down the right hand side, which you can do, well, he can do. And look at that ball just stopped. Perfection there. This is the type of shot, and you get the sense he's the type of player that maybe like Ben Hogan would aim away from the flag stick so he doesn't hit it accidentally. Trying to miss it by a couple of inches. Kepka from 101. Great birdie opportunity here for Brooke. Brooks Kepka. And he delivers. This putt should not have much break in it. These are the type of putts that Brooks Kepka. Pours in on a regular basis. He's one back. The man to beat is looking like the man of the hour. Now tied for the lead. And look out. Way right. That's over onto the green course. Oh, wherever you're in the rough, you just want to make sure you don't short side yourself. Now Brooks. And the guy that seemed like he was in the most trouble gets out of it. Maybe he was in the least trouble. He just manufactured something. 
he knows he's got to do something just to keep pace. Now this for the lead. Yeah, Kepka right where you imagine he should be. And now alone atop the leaderboard. The defending champion and the strongest force in major championships we've seen since Tiger himself is doing it again. So we go to the tee at the second. A moment ago, our leader, Brooks Kepka, Just an iron. The preferred position is down the left. Brooks has got 130 to the hole, but they had it at 139. All the numbers they were saying were already adjusted for the hill. That's very simple. Simplicity is the answer to complexity, Brian. And Kepka just seeing everything spinning right back toward the hole. He's a magician and another good one for the leader. <laughs> Overread it. Another golden opportunity for Brooks Kepka. And said yesterday the, the word was he's fine. There was there's no health issues. And I think that at this point in time, we got to understand. Kepka stays at four under. Tiger's got some ground to make up. He's five behind Brooks. Yeah, I got that shot too, Tiger. Kepka, the leader alone, inside 15 feet again. Kepka already. The leader here at four under, leading alone, a chance to extend to a two shot lead. Oh, yeah, he's got another one. Kepka is off and running. Look out, this could turn into a runaway. Oh, yeah, you can't carry right all of that. Me. That's move, no good. Move, move. And there's not even anybody in that vicinity. And this is the third now of, Fr of Francesco, or was that Brooks' second? That was Brooks' second. Short and left. be a, a poor poor lie there just could not judge it always love baseball players and their athleticism okay or lack thereof come on yeah well Brooks a former baseball player and he's gonna have that now left for par Kepka had a couple of good looks down the stretch of the Masters also this for par so he stays bogey free for the week and just continues to lead by two ho hum once in a while, there's something going on in the business also that grinds. This piece of tape is just getting on my nerves. <laughs> that was a loss for us. <laughs> nice recovery for Brooks. He had a green light situation in his mind there, and he didn't pull it off. Here's Kepka from 174. Nearly 20 yards closer, so you see the difference in speed that Kepka has versus Tiger now. He is a career 312 hitter, can hit it to all parts of the ballpark, and has a little more speed on the base paths than you would expect. Kepka heard it, felt it, tells a funny story about this tournament back in August at Bell Reef. He kept hearing all the roars for Tiger. He kept his head up. This for birdie. And that's what he does. Rock solid. The pace of that stroke hasn't changed from the very first hole that he played today. You do have some options here with this, how lush this rough is. He knows that every fairway he can hit, he's only going to have maybe an eight iron down the hill anyway. So 
You know, this could be some four or five iron up that right side. He's leaning. Mm. A little broken bat flare in the right. That's not what he was looking for. And Kepka's there through 14 holes. Uh, that is the end result of Brooks Kepka's shot. Kepka in another tough spot. Toughest test he'll have left of the day for par coming up. Not sure we'll see much out of Kepka if this doesn't go in. Wonder what we'll see if it does. This to stay bogey free. Oh my goodness, he's just stealing. He's a robot. How about this round from Brooks Kepka? He leads by two. But those fairway bunkers in the distance become target bunkers. They're just over 300 yards and he's not aiming at him. He's trying to find a camera guy out there. Hey. Oh, that's fine. Kapka a couple of steps closer. Right in the center of the green. Ball comes down like a pitching wedge. Meanwhile, at the top of the leaderboard, here's this guy, Ho Hum, in another great spot. Mr. Cool himself. Two pretty good shots, and then three putts. And Kepka just doesn't back up. Hey, remember when you three putted at seven? Yeah, I didn't. As a matter of fact, I didn't make any bogeys today. It's a pretty big target if you're not trying to get it back all the way to this whole location. But you've got to settle for a 40 footer up a steep slope if you do. This is pretty good. Right at it and right into the slope. It's going to go back, get a little worse. And now Brooks to extend the lead. though nothing forced that's that's what we've we've noticed all day he just he hasn't forced the issue well, this guy's figured it out yeah he's been everything he needs to be the lead is three with one hole left should be no issue for Brooks Kepka. oh but he's flared another one right Well, he got away with it. Where did that come from? Did that, what did that hit? Only two of five scrambling. Here was the shot from Brooks. I wouldn't expect him to have too many problems from here, even though it's long range, and he just plays right into the stereotype. Kepka, nine of 14 fairways. This put a little bit of an exclamation point on the day. Wouldn't put it past him. One more time. Brooks Kepka is doing his own thing. He's playing his own event, and he's doing it unlike anybody else. Seven under par, 63. The second lowest round in the history of major championship golf. We've seen 
everyone today going right over those trees. If they don't push it far enough right, they've all been going through the fairway. They doubt they're about 30 yards short of the green. It sounds crazy, but that's where it needs to be. How about like that? Oh, that is that, guys. Great okay. shot from Kepka. <laughs> wow, what a start. Okay. Kepka, 331 yard drive. So just 59 yards to the hole. See, his body was a little open to the target, aimed just left of the hole. Hit a beautiful little shot. Oh, there. wow. What ah. an early message from Kepka. Not a lot in this. To get to eight under. What a start for Kepka. Huge drive, sporty pitch, and a birdie for Brooks. He's an eight under par. I mean, did he make that look easy or what, fellas? Just an iron, just a, about 240, he's probably looking for. That's Gucci, That's Brooks! Good. Another one right in the middle of the fairway. That's all you need on the second yep. hole. Here is Kepka, just 136 to the hole. Yeah. Yeah. That'll come back. And another chance for birdie for Brooks. And right now, he's been taking care of business. Brooks, birdie, book it. Right in the I'd say that's taking care of it. It's a four iron for Kepka. It's plenty of club. the thick stuff beyond the green. It's a good spot to miss it, though. Feel That's like the miss. Yep. The miss is definitely to the right. He's surprised it got that deep. And here is Brooks Kepka's second shot. Going long off the tee at the par three third. Caught a manageable lie. Took care of the first part of this business. Similar situation here for Kepka trying to save par. Nicely done. You know, I don't think that missed the center by a millimeter. Just watch the tempo of Brooks' swing here. Holds the finish. Again, is perfect. 178 mile an hour ball speed. You see there, you barely got any roll, so the long hitters still have a huge advantage. On par fives this year, he goes for it into 83% of the time. That leads the tour. No he surprise, likes it too. You can see here. You can see how he kicked up his right foot as he started moving towards the hole. How about that? I mean, that's for Eagle. I think he's got a pretty good chance of making his first birdie on a par five this week. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Stays on point, stays on, stays focused. All right, here's Kepka for Eagle. He's just toying with him, boys. Instead, he'll have his third birdie of the day in his first four holes. He just wanted a temporary stop at 10 under par. <laughs> Double digits for Kepka. He's 10 under. There it is. 22 holes in, we got him 10 under par. So you just got to trust your line here and let her rip. down the right side into the rough. You know, he'll have a difficult uphill second shot. Uh, you know, again, can't run the ball up, only see about half the flag. Really enjoyed being with you guys this week. Yeah, us too. All right, Kepka's second. Nine iron, all the way. And there you go. Both guys missed the fairway, one left, one right, and, you know, it's probably 20, 30% they were going to hit that green. 
looked like he came up maybe just a little too much sand on that shot and came up slightly short. Well, you just got to hit him harder. Always like to. Tough stance right there for Kepka. Yeah, oh, really. Look at this. Can never tell. Still looks as solid as can be. Three birdies in the first five holes. I agree with it. I'd, I'd rather stay sharp playing in tournament golf than maybe going home and getting a little bit distracted. Everybody needs their rest, but. And you can see him aimed, trying to kick a field goal almost between those two bunkers you can see down the left side. And that ball looks, looks to have found the right rough down the bottom of the hill there. Looks like you can see Brooks' ball too. He might have caught a decent lie here, guys. Just 105 to the hole. Out of the rough, Kepka's second. Middle of the green, smart play from Brooks Kepka. Kepka also with a birdie opportunity just inside 18 feet. Again, I think Brooks is a player that feeds off this energy when a guy like Tiger makes a pot. Right line, just a little let, lacked speed, and you know, again, he he missed he missed the fairway off the tee, which kind of left him in a tough spot, but caught a good lie and still had a pretty good birdie opportunity. Kepka's hit three of five fairways, averaging 302 yards so far today off the tee. That's a big drive from Kepka. Wow. Brooks kind of challenged that right side, and the, those that you can see those clump of trees there. But the beautiful drive for Brooks, and he's in another another great opportunity here at seven. So now just an eight, eight iron. iron. Wow! From, wow! 172 yards. Perfect angle. Holding that finish again. Looks like right of the hole, maybe. Again, good solid shot. Has a chance to add to his lead right here. Birdie for Kepka at seven. Another great putt, perfect speed. Again, as we mentioned, he, he made his putted beautifully yesterday, he made over 120 feet of putts. So not only is he striking the ball well and driving it great, but he's he's got that flat stick going. Again, Brooks with a seven iron here. That's Gucci, bro. Oh. Trying to work this back right to left, and it stays towards the center of the green. Safe shot from Kepka, the leader by four, and now the crowd going wild for Tiger. This is Brooks for birdie here after a good solid seven iron right in the middle of the green. And Brian hasn't hasn't really made a mistake, just played flawless golf here in the first seven holes. Three early birdies in the first four holes, and just going about his business like he has for the first two days here. Well, I think that was the big story, JJ, after round one and that incredible 63. Could he keep that going? And he comes right out of the gate with birdie, birdie, and then another, and it's just continuing. Right over the middle of the left bunker. I mean, honestly, if he goes right, he'll go through. So this one needs oh. to get down. Sideboard saved him. Just on top there. Kepka is up on top of the shelf and has a better look at this whole location. 169 yards. This potentially could be just an eight iron for Brooks. That was a nice break to be up on the flat. Yep. Seriously. I don't care who you are. If you keep missing fairways and having to punch out. You know, you're not used to having to lay up on par fours when you do miss fairways like you do in major championships. It just wears on you. You know, that's why you have to stay in the moment. He's done a pretty good job of it. And obviously with what he's got ahead with 9, 10, 11, and or excuse me, 10, 11, 12. Uh, and then, of course, before he crossed the road, he's, he's got some hard holes in front of him. So for him to make a birdie like that. Nice to get a absolutely. circle on the books there before you hit that stretch. Kepka thought he had that. Go, 
and frankly, so did everybody else. <laughs> I mean, he's been making a lot of putts this week. No, he's got a three hole test coming up. Starting at the 10th. I mean, I was I was really curious at the start of this round. You know, what, what, how would Brooks react? I mean, it, you know, he's proven himself. He's it's just incredible what he's done and how he's played. Now Kepka at the par four 10th. Looks like he got a little ahead of that one. Yeah. Now Kepka from the fairway bunker right side of this 10th hole, 199 yards. Probably need 185 to be safe to get at least get into the front bunkers. Again, here's one of those those elevated second shots with you know thick rough short of the green. What's the technique on this shot here? How do you launch this out of that heavy stuff? It, it's obviously open face and uh, it's like a bunker shot. Came out a little hot. Brooks hadn't made a bogey in 40, those last 40 holes at the PGA Championship, so he's. Well, here's that test we talked about without a bogey to this point in the 101st PGA Championship. And I've watched him play a lot of golf this year as well as DJ. The imp one of the impressive features of both of these guys' games is their speed control putting. It's been phenomenal. Just they have nothing left most of the time. Well, that's the third time Kepka has left it short, but right on line in this second round. Well, 10, 11, 12. They've proven to be the really tough stretch of this golf course. Again, like you said, he's not worried about he's going to make mistakes. He's human, even though he hasn't really looked at the first couple days. Well, going with the driver here at 11 and well, looking to get back on track. One. Hates that one. Yeah. Beautiful shot there from Kepka at the 11th. From 127, Brooks Kepka here at the 11th. Tugged it. You can see from his follow through, just didn't quite keep his belt line turning. When your belt line stops, something's got to turn, and it's normally going to be your hands. The face shuts down, and the ball goes left. For Kepka, he hasn't had many of these, but it's a long putt. Just send it out to the left. Should pick up some speed and start to scuttle towards the cup. Well, I've been counting these a bit. He's been a little tentative. Tiger Woods in danger here. He's got to get some birdies in the upcoming holes. Now Kepka. Nice tempo. No doubt there. And three birdies in his first nine. A bogey at 10, but a solid par four there at the 11th. Like the seventh where Kepka had to take it way out over the trees. Down the right hand side, look at how far left he's aimed here. Yeah, just to avoid going through the fairway. Different line there for Kepka. And a much shorter approach. Anything he wants right here. Any shot in his arsenal, whatever he's most comfortable with. Much different apex here. Kepka going all the way back to the upper shelf on the fly. Different play. Glimpse into the soul of a man who's nine under par and leading by only three now as Adam Scott has made another birdie. Make them come get you. Don't give it to them. I'll tell you, Ned, the tally continues. Good putts, but just coming up short throughout this second round. Mark my words, that's a good sign. As Brooks Kepka steps to the tee. Boy, he doesn't waste any time. No. And just belts it down the middle. So Kepka in perfect shape. So now that the group ahead has cleared, 
Brooks Kepka prepares for his approach here from 287 with a little wind in the face. Right between the one and the three on the tower. That was laced. Oh, wow. 287 on the fly. Ned, there just aren't a lot of players on tour that have that shot. Unbelievable. Has a three-shot lead. This would stretch it to five. The largest 36-hole lead in PGA Championship history. 1994, Nick Price, five shots from just under 30 feet, Kepka for Eagle. This one's just kept Brooks kind of loitering around a little bit. There really isn't a whole lot in it. It's just right center. You're trying to see how center cut you can make it. You're not thinking about missing it, just rolling it right down the line. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Kepka with nine iron. He'll thump this. Stock for him on the nine iron is about a buck 65, so he has to take a little bit off. Hold on. That didn't help Kepka. If anything, it confused him. So a similar line, but much closer. Brooks Kepka for birdie. Kepka for par. And no one's moving around it better than this guy. Brooks Kepka. He seems to like it. And he should. Beautiful drive from Kepka. Kepka will waste no time. This his approach. At 15. It's right at it. Wow. This guy is unstoppable. If there was a closest to the pin contest here at 15, Brooks would be leading. Incredible approach shot. And he capitalizes. Another birdie on the card for Brooks Kepka. Four seventy-three. He's been averaging about three ten. just tearing through that golf ball. A different sound coming from the driver of Brooks Kepka. Now Brooks Kepka, just a nine iron here on the 473 yards. He can go ahead and be aggressive here. A lot of space behind the whole location. It's almost like he's toying with the field. Think about incredible this. shot after incredible shot. Yep. On that left edge, and you have to keep your tempo rocking. So Kepka with yet another birdie, stretching the lead now. He's at minus 12. Here we are at the 17th. Brooks Kepka with a seven iron. Right between the two television towers. 15 feet right. That'll catch the spine of the green and start to just meander its way down. It's good for yesterday's whole location. Would have been great yesterday. Today, that is going to be a very challenging two putt. Brooks Kepka will be the first player to putt here at 17. 
Ned, I'll let you say it. I don't think it's that hard of a putt. It's inside of 70 feet, but everything collects to the flag. It was 67. Not a lot in this one, Brian. Just if you keep the pace up, it's inside the cup. Shall I say it again? Brooks Kepka, the only real sign of weakness in this great round of golf has been a little tentative with speed on the putting green. Kepka loses it right, and he'll have a challenge there at the 18th. And now to Brooks Kepka from the fescue on 18. This will come off very high, no spin. Everything down grain, though, lucky break. Just what we would expect from Mr. Kepka, another beautiful approach. What fescue? Nothing can stop this man so far. Might it be the coronation of King Kepka? <laughs> It could be. Something special has already been here. This man has put on quite a show. Does he have one more thrill in the tank? He does! A closing birdie for Brooks Kepka. It just doesn't stop. 63 65. 128 and 12 under par, and that is a look at a very strong leader here in this 101st PGA Championship. As this one goes down, 128 shots, that breaks the 36-hole scoring record by two. That was 130. Gary Woodland said it last year. Now on the tee, from West Palm Beach, Florida, the 2018 PGA champion, Brooks Kepka. And Billy, the statement he made yesterday off this first tee really set the tone for the rest of this day. He drove it to within 55 yards of the green, made the easiest of birdies, and it was just a continuation of day one. Yeah, you see the collection of trees down there on the right, and uh, just look where he's aimed right now, Luke, and he's gonna take it directly over those trees. That may be a little too far right, but if it's past the trees, Ricky Fowler was there, there's an opening. And yesterday, he tried to take it in just a little bit lower, but this whole location uh, in the back of the green, I would assume he's gonna do the same exact thing. And this putt right here, this one is the one that right-handed players, tour players, this is the one they love. You, you feed it into the line, a little right to lefter, up the hill. And only six and a half feet. But the game is just so, so solid right now. He said to his caddy, Rick, let's take a look at Top Tracer presented by Michelob Ultra. Gorgeous swing on this bunkerless par four here. Just a position hole, trying to get it set up for that back left hole location today. To your point there about the shifting breezes here, now slightly helping and quartering out of the left. That uh, top trace was a little misfire, but the shot wasn't. Right under the hole, and he's got yet another birdie opportunity. And now Kepka, who missed a putt just a foot longer back at the first, has this to extend his lead to eight. Straight in the heart. No doubt of that one. And he'll stride to the third now, at 13 under and eight clear. That's 
perfect balance. That's too bad. Did that Kepka has this to be two under through three. Even though Kepka's the one that has hit the shots closest to the hole and has had the best opportunities. Jordan at even par. He looks comfortable. Yeah. Made a couple of nice putts around six feet of length. Kepka though. Comfortably one under through three. That's got to get right. That's got to get a little right. Uh, they got a good bounce. Right in the step cut. Uh, Just an eight iron for Brooks Kepka. If it's any more than an eight iron, I'll be shocked. Because where the hole is located, you can maybe go a little to the right and maybe a little long that way, and then it becomes a very simple pitch. But but this, yeah, just launch it straight up in the air. Comes up a little short. That ball's going to wind up in the bunker. I thought, if anything, he'd play a little long and to the right because it is such an easy chip shot, pitch shot. Handle that nicely, though. Yeah. And again, he'll have the advantage. The short of the two birdie putts. Should not be a lot in this putt. That's the second edge he's caught. So he missed a putt. Just on six feet at the first. Hold one from five feet into the next. Missed a 16 footer and 11 footer. So through four holes, he's made just the one birdie, but had four legitimate opportunities. Pretty strong helping breeze right here. 11, 12 mile per hour. My goodness. Well, he holds the finish <laughs> so long. And I would have to say that's a look of admiration. Now 142 yards for Brooks Kepka. And see, he had another short club. This is the decision making. Look how he's ready to play. Throws a gap wedge right at it. He's playing darts. Everyone else is playing golf. That's, that's the biggest difference I see is that you can have a discussion, but once it's his turn to play, everything becomes reactionary. I see it. I've got my yardage. I execute. That was a gap wedge. I don't know if I've ever hit any less than five iron into that green myself, but. We really going to catch Brooks Kepka the way that he's playing? They understand that they're not. And, but to be paired alongside Kepka. And watch him do this to this golf course through five holes, two under through five now. That's his 16th birdie. He's going with driver again today. He finished tied 70th here at Beth Page Black in the Barclays in 2016. He made 18 birdies that week, so a whole bunch of bogeys and others. So far, only two bogeys. Hit it in the right hand rough yesterday. That seems to be a better line. Perfect angle. Perfect angle and a better lie. And a low wedge. He'll be able to spin this one no problem. Longest birdie putt attempt so far through six holes. 16 feet and that was on the challenging par three third. Brooks kept his sky high. This to get to 15 under par, nine clear. Miss Reed. When you see a player from that distance not come close to the cup, miss it by three inches, that's, that's typically a misread. So Kepka remains eight in front of two players now as Jazz Janawatanond from Thailand has joined Dustin Johnson with a stunning performance. Right on the drip line of that tree on the corner. That's way too far right. It's. 310 plus.
to carry on that line. Kepka ready to go, as you said. He's just seeing targets and he's hitting at them. 152 to the front, 165 to the hole. When he airmailed the green, but it's sitting up. Did it appear that way? So he's facing his first real test today as he's got that left for his par. He missed his first green in regulation in 15 holes. Maybe just a touch left in this putt. And about six inches down. Man. Just doesn't doesn't lay down. Better watch out for that huge oak tree on the corner. Floating no problem, but very often happens in stroke play. Match play, you can't really do it, but. All the grain of the grass going towards the hole. She hold it. Oh, just broke left right. Nice little drop shot there. The man right now. He's more machine than man, isn't he, Brooks Kepka? He's, he's everything in one right now. Where Brooks, maybe get it past DJ. Well, he hit it up the right-hand side yesterday. He's been there three days in a row, actually. He has a chance here to just extend his lead and go out and three under par. He's human. Just when we started giving him shots, he makes a bogey out of nowhere, so. Good tee shots. Kind of misstepping. Kept the hit in the right bunker yesterday. Oh, Kepka. Ooh, he's trying to get a lot out of this. Somewhere in that front bunk is not a bad outcome. It all, doesn't always translate, so any win's a good win, but uh, I think he's, he was pretty fortunate with this one as well. You know, just a little bump right here. Stance was a little awkward, was a little bit more on top of that ball maybe than he wanted to be, but okay, well, we're seeing, we're seeing, we're seeing human Brooks Kepka come out just for a second. Can get through those even par. You have a great chance of posting a good score. Okay, so it's going to be consecutive bogeys at the turn here for Kepka, and those two shots that he picked up at the second and fifth holes are evaporating. He's back to minus 12, so the gap's back to six shots now. Kepka trying to respond after a couple of small blemishes. Yeah, a couple of loose drives to the right. Oh, wow. That's how you respond. You know, it's, it's just kind of like, you know what, I'm just not going to miss it right again the rest of the day. I think you have to be a little cautious because now you've made back-to-back -back bogeys. Now you just don't want to be too aggressive with this one. Brooks Kepka line up this birdie putt. I don't think it's uh, that hard to judge the pace. You look at uh, the this line. green reading presented by SoFi. Ooh, and he was well off the target. Putts right here are going to be telling signs. Cannot give the hole away here. Caught the right edge. Saves his par. Stays even for the day, 12 under overall. Let's see, Brooks Kepka take a line a little closer to that tree line on the left. He hit a monster here yesterday. 
over 180 miles of ball speed. Oh, I'll just go ahead and do it again, too. Mm. Brooks first to go. This is the big putt. This would be like stealing one here on a over 500 yard par four, and he knows it. I don't think there's as much to fall to the right as it looks. Yeah, the line right just forgot to hit it. So in the end, a par for Kepka, and his lead is now only five. Bit of breeze into the face. There's another one to the right. This is what we were talking about, and that's in a little bit of a thicker area. There's plenty here for Brooks Kepka with this second shot. I was going to say, if you want to create difficulty on a golf course, create angles, oblique angles. Tillinghast was famous for doing that. How about this break? Mm -hmm. I mean, another good lie. Let's go, Brooks! Yeah. 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 Got to find the fairway, though. Well, it was a good break. 121 yards the number, but it's more about the lie. It certainly is, and, and all about the contact with this lie. Get the hole! That was good. That was really good. You could tell by the sound that he, he caught as much golf ball as he could possibly catch. You ever get that feeling? Yeah. I'm with you. Bingo. And he you got just that feeling. He was going to make it. He got that feeling too, right there. How's that, Birdie Billy? Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Pretty much the same line. Yeah. Kepka, a little bit different angle, but. Kind of that same paced putt. From right on 30 feet. A no stress par. That's all you're looking for. You are looking just to make sure that, okay, hit a green. Don't work too hard on trying to make par. Got the, the six shot lead. Mercy Brooks Kepka fire it down that left side and try to barely take it over that corner of rough that you see there just left to his back helping breeze that ball's not turning and so now brooks left hand rough and from 156 and that was a slash that was a pretty good slash right there. That was amazingly good. That that carried on to the green by a yard, maybe two yards. Just a perfectly played shot. That's about the fourth putt today that Brooks Kepka has hit right on line and has come up about two or three inches short. You see this right to left wind, maybe slightly in, but just a little. Again, right that little step cut, no harm. Yeah, 171, wonderful angle, and his high fade fits this perfectly. Just go for the center of the green. Well, barely covers the bunker. Yeah, from 50 feet. Ooh, that's going to come up. Six foot putt, anywhere between six and seven feet, five feet. That had to be a misread. Okay, just maintaining some of the drama here. <laughs> Not put it totally out of reach yet.
This time of the day, it's north of 6 o'clock. These players have been out here on this golf course for it's approaching four hours today, playing in twosomes. We're playing a little quicker, but. Well, he three putted the 17th hole yesterday for bogey. He three putts the 16th hole today for bogey. His second bogey on this with what was going on first 36 holes alongside Tiger. And this is a more appropriate line here. Just a beautiful golf shot. Well, this green reading is presented by SoFi. You can see the softer line on the left, the white line. You're just going to gently nudge it down there. And looks like Kepka has split the difference. Ooh, that comes up. To stay at minus 12. No problem. Yeah, it's just over 300 yards to get past those bunkers. Picks up that tee confidently, and that is perfection. Now, Kepka, just such a quick decision maker. I mean, he, I mean, ready to go immediately. Great lesson for everybody at home. Get up there, just be decisive and hit it. Flag. Now, Kepka. this to get to minus 13. Short. A couple of birdies right out of the box. Uh, all in all, one under on the front, one over on the back. Par 70. Kind of what you're looking for. Uh, Brooks Kepka is a special golfer, and he's got a special Sunday in front of him here, in front of the New York faithful on Long Island. And now on the tee, from West Palm Beach, Florida, the 2018 PGA Champion, Brooks Kepka. Let's take a look at Top Tracer, presented by Michelob Ultra. Just a little left of where he wanted it, but that should not be a problem. Brooks has kept it in that first cutter rough. Kind of a lucky, lucky break in the past. This could be very unlucky. Now that is not the shot that he was hoping for and not the start that he wanted. The print shoes there. Well, there you go. So that is the putt for par. See that index finger of the right hand down the shaft. One of the few people use that method. And there you go. All of a sudden, that lead has shrunk to six. And in just a moment, with Harold Varner standing over that birdie effort, it could shrink to five. So give us a good idea of the heartbeat and the mind of Brooks Kepka. And that just as fortunate to skate through there. Now Brooks have to protect against a flyer here. Plays a full club up this hill here. Hey, that's it. No one's coming back here. 
see how it carries on to this final round and final group of this major championship. Good roll. Safely in for his four. Predominantly moves the ball from left to right. Did he overdo this draw? No, it's perfect. It's on the green, and that is a wonderful shot by our leader. That's exactly what he needed on a hole that's playing. Basically, half the players are bogeying it. Well, let's take another look at this swing, Steve. Great backswing. Flighting that ball, holding on to that shot, trying to prevent the wind from getting it and moving it too far. Yeah, when you're into the wind like that, the solidity of the strike is so important. I can't remember a great world-class, top-of-the-world player Never having an idiosyncrasy like that. Well, Ben Crenshaw had a little bit of an over-the-top move, as did Bobby Locke. And a boy, Brooksy! Expecting it to move to his right, and it doesn't. Actually moves to the left. That's the property releasing down that way, and from four feet for par. And he's in. Let's take a look at Top Tracer, presented by Michelob Ultra. And Steve, he's going with the three wood here. I think that's a great play. He's taken drive for the last three days, where his target had to be too far left. That should be perfection. And there it is, just trundling down the hill in the center of the fairway. I think while he searches for his, Kepka's just going to go ahead and play. 208 yards to the hole. Even with this elevation, I cannot imagine this being much more than a seven iron. Just blitz it. And by the way, that is the place to be. One eagle on this hole today. Can Brooks make it a second? No, but I thought he made an interesting comment to Claude Harmon the third. Yeah. He said, I'm going out there, I'm going to play the sensible shot, I'm going to play the smart shot, and I'm going to try not to leave that two, three, four footer for pars. I'm going to, it's not going to, that I'm going to play defensively, it's just that I'm going to play a little smarter and a little more sensible. It kind of reminds me of the round of golf that Webb Simpson played at the players when he had a very big lead. I think the players are going to have to be fortunate when they we finally make their mind up and, and get ready to strike the shot. Do I have the wind gauged correctly? They haven't played a practice round with, with this wind yet, and that one there goes into the thick rough, but it'll be, I think, far enough up there Get back into your game now. Kepka, big tee shot. That from 141. That was a really thick lie right there. Oh, he got fortunate to carry the bunker, but it is fast through the green. No worse than 200 by day's end. Now Kepka going a little more upstairs than uh, I thought, but still nicely done. Brooks for his par from three feet. He has not been afraid to go ahead and just take the straighter line, pour it in, just like that. Wind is right to left. You can see it over there on the right-hand side. Oh, my. And that was hit hard. And now, did it avoid the thick stuff? Tough holes that you played 
Now Kepka, left hand rough. Well, that's two fortunate breaks. Again, does it hit his ball? Oh. You know, he just he just makes a lot of the right decisions. You know, now Kepka. Just be a little careful with this one going down the hill. And that's all he was going to try to do when he had a putt 20 feet on the PGA Tour. Okay. Par for our leader. He was hoping to get to one or two under after six. Instead, he's at even, but carries a five shot lead in that direction, like there. Yeah. Looks like he's. He's got the shape that he started enough. That's my line. And there you go. Well done, Picasso. <laughs> Painted a good picture for us. Brooks now from 175 yards. But see how quickly the decision was made. And now the ball's in the air. That quick. And in the air near the flag. Just misjudging the wind a bit. And a little surprising it landed that softly. This from 45 feet. Last couple of days, he's, come, line. Up, he's come up short a lot, and but that is perfect pace right there. Well, and that's what he talked about. You alluded to it. That's what he needs to do. Continue just roll off pars. See the whole location. Got that big tree right on the corner. Boy, this looks good. And it is. Sensible. Right? To your point, 20 feet past the hole and just left of it. If the pace is good and it catches the hole, great. But you're just looking to hit greens and two putt and move on. Just a little less pace than it would have been. But the beauty of that. It's another one back, of those. He's back up the hill. Another one of those foot, foot and a half. Maybe a foot longer than this that horseshoed on him. Other than that, everything else has gone into the center of the hole. Aiming it just off the edge of that bunker. And that's exactly what he was trying to do, Billy. Is that pretty? I mean, just exactly how he drew it up in his mind. Yeah. All of a sudden, our defending champion is defending much earlier. He doesn't like that one, though. Does not like it. Trying to hit a little bleeder in there, a little left to rider. Top five player in the world. Everybody went, what? This guy says I'm the most confident player in the world. They go, yeah, he is. Get in! Two putts would be good from here. From 54 feet, and this looks like exquisite pace. Are you kidding me? Again, there's, oh. there, there's nine holes with a bogey on the opening hole, a two-putt birdie on the par five fourth. Other than that, it was pretty much a stress-free opening nine. And everybody thought, quite frankly, two hours ago, after they watched the first hole, oh, we got a chance now. Brooks just said, hey, hold on, everybody, sit back down. It's okay. 25, 26, close to 30 mile per hour. And let's take a look at Top Tracer presented by Michelob Ultra. Yeah! Wow. That is what we call blistering. That's perfect. Now he's bogey this whole last two days, but yep. a totally different wind direction. He's certainly going to let it fall a little bit to the right. Asking for it to be good. I guess it was be good. And now Kepka, two and a half feet for his birdie to get to 13 under par and stretch the lead 
We had talked about it before, that four-shot lead. Can he get it to five? Yes, sir. There you go. And now one under on his round today after opening with a bogey. He sees a driver here. Well, you can see the wind now up to 12 mile per hour. That's got to get right. That's got to get a little right. And the wind is not in his favor. Get over the bunker. Players unnecessary. As we go back to our feature group coverage, Brooks Kepka, who drove it into the fairway bunker, just getting out of it. You got to account for. You don't. You don't bring that front bunker into play at all. But he pulled. Oh my! Well, that's three shots, Billy, that have just cleared the bunker. That was not what I anticipated right there. Now, putting from right around 25 feet, maybe 30. Slow down. Settle. Slow down. Settle. That's exactly, exactly what he didn't want to do. Well, if he makes it, he goes back to even par for the day, yep. minus 12 for the championship. The fact that Dustin Johnson bogeyed this hole, uh, it would just take it to a four-shot lead. I, I think it's important, but it's not extremely important, but it's just kind of that little extra cush that you were talking about. Now, Kepka. It's a little too far right. And I think, I got to be honest, I think that, you know, it kind of looked like when he came through there, he held on to that a little bit. And I think one of the reasons is because of what he just saw Harold do. Look at that wind gust, 25 miles an hour. Oh. from 50 yards. Okay. Smart, safe. This screen reading is presented by SoFi. Can he keep it in the cone? He's got it in the cone. It's shifting to the right. Is it gonna come back? No! That will be his second bogey in a row. This thing gets to three, and we've got a conversation. Look at that wind right back into his face. And that is left and going left. That's left of... Left. You see that? The important thing is, it, is he kept it short of the bunker, so Given the fact that he's got any kind of lie at all, he ought to be able to push it up onto the putting surface. Well, it's up in the air. Just short of the green. He's making a mess of this. This is from 84 feet. Almost 20 of it is fringe. Easy to hit this past. That's pretty good. That's really good. Still. And there you have it. He thought that was going to move to his left. 
And I always feel, you know, when I watch a guy like Harold Varner putt before me and he leaves it that far short, it just gives me an idea that coming in that direction, it might be a little bit uphill. I'm going to keep that one in the cup. We got a, we got a <clears throat> tournament right now. And this one isn't in. Okay, it is now. That's three bogeys in a row. Yardage of this shot is somewhere around 160, 165 yards. That's got to go. That's got to go. It did go. It went right through the wind. He had well, that wind laid down. He, ha he had to have caught a long. All right, a two-shot lead. Brooks Kepka behind the green. Ooh. Downwind. Having to go upstairs with this. And kill all the speed on this putt. Face. And plenty left on that. Yeah, that's just to maintain the lead. Four feet, two inches. Okay. We were all a little nervous, but his fourth bogey in a row, and all of a sudden, this lead is down to one. He needs a birdie on, on this needs, hole. He needs to see some positive stuff. The wind coming out of the left, which should be favorable for his cut shot. Well, that may be the best tee shot he's hit on this inward nine. Sit, sit, that's, sit. That's good. That's good. And, and there you go. And he's got an angle. Stellar tee shot right here. I mean, you're looking right down the throat of the flagstick. To this front hole location win to the right, and he played it wisely to the right-hand side, but he's missed the bowl. There's a little bowl right there, a little ridge. Look at look at the amount of break that exists here, and this green reading is presented by SoFi. Oh, you got to take that white line. You have to take it up there, or maybe more. You got to be really careful here. He's going right in the middle of this. You got to go up top. You got to. But and he's got don't. a little work left too. Got to tell Ricky he's got to move. Here we go. We got a little worm cam outside the hole. And it's in. And the four. Two shot lead with three holes to play. He's actually looking a little more right than what I think. Let's take a look at Top Tracer presented by Michelob Ultra. This is good. This, this is, is good. This is great. When the lead shrunk to one, now all of a sudden he hits the two best drives Wind a little bit from the right. Get That's got to get out. Okay. All right. Underneath the hole, putting up the hill. Just, Smart play. Just fine. This is when I teach. When he got done with that round of golf on Sunday, he made every putt he looked at, and they asked him in the interview room, how was the putting? He said, I smelled the train. <laughs> Well, now, Brooks Kepka from 50 feet. Well, all you want to do is cruise this up there in the circle of trust. You bet. It's got to slow down, doesn't it? Just a little bit outside that circle, maybe three feet. That may be, that's the circle of friendship. A little this to keep a three-shot lead. All right. So safely in and a three-shot lead he now has with two to play. Definitely set up to let this ball drift right. Too, too strong a win to fight. Can't 
believe that it didn't move to the right, but it's good now. Yeah, he was actually disappointed that it didn't move as well. Yeah. There's birdie putt on the way. It's got to go. Billy, this has got to go. This locks it up. Oh, he left the blade open. It's not locked up. They will get on him for this. Making a double bogey here is not a hard thing to do, and this one's not in yet. No. This will drop him back to minus eight. All right. So he heads to the last hole with a two-shot lead, and quite frankly, I think he's kind of embarrassed by that. You got to find the fairway here. You got to avoid a double bogey. When it meant the most is when he drove it the best. This is left. He's got to get lucky. That may have that may have down into the bunker. That bunker exactly right. Slug it out of there. Look at that. You can see one foot in and one foot out. And that was really unfortunate. Back into play. And all of a sudden, this two shot lead. is a lot closer than it appears on the green and two putts and he will have defended his PGA championship but it's not over yet up the hill 20 feet into the wind taking it in low oh yeah classy shot he will most certainly Get down in two on that. Brooks Kepka from five feet, 10 inches for his par. And the 101st PGA Championship. There it is. There's your champion. How about, how about that emotion right there out of Brooks Kapka? They both know how hard that was. That was anything but easy. It was anything but easy for both of them. But it's over now. Shaking the hand of PGA professional Chip Essig.